Okay, so one more question for tonight, and I can relax after this. So this is Nelk again, and another question from our YouTube subscriber, and his name is Amtaj Anverdin. And Amtaj said, Hi, I'm a new learner and I have a question. Can you tell how to get the final output result in Dalax Evo? I'm trying to do an outdoor landscaping calculation. Thanks. Okay, Amtaj, your question is easy. So let me check. I think I already created one uh, video about this. And let's see, Nel Caroco calculation report. If nothing, then I will just do it now. Okay. How to prepare a report? I think I have one here. So, yeah. You can check this one. But this is a retail shop so just go and check this one and if this is not enough then i will just open my file actually I already open it so this is one of my old project just to practice it's not a, a, a real project it's just for me to practice dialax evil during that time okay so you said you're doing a landscaping and you want to get the report from that landscaping project so before you do the um, reporting or extract the report from your project you need to go to the export tab okay because landscaping is more of visualization it's not really about lighting calculation but it's more of visualization maybe you need to achieve some lax value or uniformity in path walks or anything that needs to have like security and safety but most of the time landscaping project is more of uh, effect like facade so it's more of visuals and um, it's it's important not to spill too much light on the air or on the surroundings so yeah that is landscaping project so what you need to do is go to the export tab like this one and uh, for example i want this view let's say this view you need to go and ray trace it or save it so i saved a lot of things here let's go and try for example this one yeah so once you save new view you will create a lot of thumbnails here and from there you will create a view later on and then after you create views make sure you press the save new view ah. and then go to the ray trace and here are some of examples of my ray trace images and um, yeah you can use this one in your report part of your presentation and then once you created and ray traced a lot of pictures then you now can go to your um, calculation report okay so let's go to your uh, documentation tab to create your calculation report and then um, yeah so it's loading now let's just wait for that okay so go to your selected outputs first tab here go to your project cover maybe you want to add some title here first before you do that so let's say landscaping car check okay and then you will say that the day today date if you like and then you say in the description that is landscape outdoor landscaping project anything that is the description of your project you can put say outdoor lighting design yes and then you will put your address here let's say dubai uae okay and then you can put like the design and then you can add your client name here and then when you do that when you finish that you can now go and refresh your cover so now it's here and you can also add your um, 
logo if you like so here in this footer you can also add your for example www.enrocolightingdesign.com or you can add your company uh, website and then for the logo you can browse it say for example i want to save my i want to put my logo here so i will search it so nelka logo here okay the, then it's ghost now it's here so i have my uh foot, footer and logo so i'll go now to my first tab and now when i refresh it's goes like this so i have my logo plus the information of the client and me as a lighting designer plus the title of the project after that you can add some images for example you want to add this ray trace view here and one more if you like maybe this one and then when you refresh now you have one amazing image you can add one more if you like so just press the image that you just created in the export tab for example um, this one I want to add so just press the add and then back to the preview so this is now my first cover of my report okay so that's why it's very important that you create your images first save new view or ray trace it so you will now have a nice image for your landscaping project so on your table of contents it will be generated later and then you can skip the project description if you like so if you want to edit this one because there are so many things here you can just go and edit and then uncheck those things that you want you don't want to include like project description control group commissioning and if you don't want to include those data sheet, you just uncheck it. Sometimes it's not necessary. Or maybe you can just um, create your uh, separate template for your report. And then if you want, you can add things like that. Okay, whatever you want to add here, you can just add it but since you don't need to you can uncheck everything but the shortcut if you want you can just go to your configure template and then you will say um, create new template and then the new template will be for landscaping template landscaping project so every time you have a landscaping project you can use this template and then you will say I want to include the project cover, the table of contents, the luminaire parts list, some views, uh, data sheet I don't need to include unless you want to include, and then site luminaire layout plan, yes, and then yeah, that's it, and maybe some views if you like, you can add another views here, okay, and then save so when you go to your here your first selected output now this is your um, default uh, template for your report so these are now few tabs only left here so the luminar layout plan let's go and check how it looks so now it shows those fittings in your site development plan this is important for an installation and then you go to the views then you can add more views here because in landscaping you need to, to have lots of views so you can add your views again like for example this one and then um, this one and then this one maybe also then also you can add some um, uh, what you call that um, false color rendering because sometimes all daylight daylight view if you like also so go to the back to page view and you will see how it looks so i think it's taking so much time because i added the elevation view which is for the 2d and that 2d file or 2d view takes time okay i will show you which one i'm talking about um okay now it's taking time to load i think this is the part now that um, 2D uh, drawing, I just um, saved it as a view and that is my fault. I should have screenshot that one and then save as a picture instead of 
yeah so this is the one i'm talking about so this is the one it's so heavy because it's taking all those drawings and everything so you need to remove that one if you want you can just screenshot that one and then save as an image and then import it again okay so that's it so this is your views and if you want to add again go to the export tab and then for example you want to add a false color that's what i'm saying you can just do it again and then you will say save new view now it's there in the new thumbnail and then for example i want this side just to check how much spill light is going on in my side view because landscaping really uh, important it's really important to show the spill light in the surrounding then you just say save new view just to show that you don't have so much spill light here and the effect on the surrounding also like this one okay you can close this one if you want a full dark okay and then save new view and then you go to the documentation again and then add it in your views if you like so I created I, I selected a new views here and then add this one add 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 okay so now I have new views for false colors and then after that you can just go and uh, click this print tab and then press the determined page count this one you need to press this one before you save as PDF because that one generates all the pages that you need okay and then save PDF as and then I'll go to just um, in my desktop for example and I'll say landscaping project and then I'll say save and then I will open it now and let's see how it looks all right so that is how it looks look at that so this is your cover page and this is your table of contents the logo is there these are your luminaires the quantity power and everything you can also edit the thumbnail if you like because here for example let's go back if you go to the luminar parts list you can also configure it with a detailed tab and then when you go for the detailed tab you will also see the pictures of every fitting that you use so i just did not do it but you can also do it like that and then those false color rendering it's there amazing look at that and then the layout is very important for your um, installation so it's there also and then the amazing images daylight and nighttime all right so that's it um i'm taj i hope i answered all your question if you want to learn more about landscape lighting please visit my udemy course this one line landscape lighting design using dialax evo and you will learn a lot of things on how to do landscape lighting design techniques all right so see you in my udemy course